Welcome back to Nazareth's channel. In this episode, we have a DIY project. It's gonna be this garage motor. We're gonna replace that. I just wanna share with you the progress and we're gonna install a new one. What we have here, we have a new motor from Chamberlain. This is a brand new unit with all the hardware. And this is our model number. Uh, where is our model number? Right here. It's a half a horsepower six-year warranty we picked it up from home depot this is the model number d2101 and we're gonna install it because this old uh this is sears craftsman sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it has a mind of its own so we're gonna replace this track lubricate everything put the new chamberlain unit we have here the motor nice chamberlain we have here the two sensors we have here like this locking bracket that slides. We got a remote control, more brackets, uh, rails that assembled. And we're gonna have the garage door slide on this rail. We have the bracket for the sensors. So everything is in this kit, the rope, everything, chain. This is our chain. So everything is good, good to go. In this first step, it says assemble the rail and install the trolley. It just slides in one into another, but you see there's a rail tab on the top. And it says here it has to be on the top. So this rail slides in one in, into itself, like one, two, three, four, five pieces. So let's open this up. And you see these tabs, they have to be on the top. Find this rail first, you see with this holes like this, it has to be facing the door. And this is where the wheel is gonna be. So set it on the floor like this. Make sure this tap is pointing up and these are to the side. And you see here on the manual it says now slide in all these into place and make sure the tabs are on the top. So that's our first one and we're going to slide in two more. So take this one, click, take another one. Click. So one, two, three, and the fourth one needs to have this hole. Let's see, where's the hole? All right, so one, two, three, fourth tab installed. Now we're gonna slide this one into place. And then we're gonna install this final one. This is the last one and now we need a screwdriver to put it here just like in the picture flathead screwdriver we're just gonna put it in here you see here we have to insert a screwdriver into this hole right here right here and also the sliding bracket is has to be installed like this just like in the manual they want us to do that see we did that and then these were pads this is a trolley and then you have a u-bracket motor mount that slides in the back which just goes right here so it's supposed to slide it in, in there slide it in here all right so next step next step we're going to fasten the rail to the motor unit just like this we're going to take our motor we're going to find this bolt and fasten it all to the motor unit. Take your motor, remove these bolts right here on the top. There's two bolts. They're very easy to remove them. Because we're gonna secure this bracket to the motor. There's one, the second one, and on the side. Hey, can you align this end? Make sure it's straight. There you go, good. And we're gonna secure this. So now we're gonna take this bolt and we're gonna install it in this hole right here. And then screw it on the bottom. 
and we already secured these two bolts which are here on the top we already tightened them but now you want to take this chain chain spreader and the hex screw and we're going to put it on the top on this bracket it's going to go right here now we take this chain spreader put it like this and there's going to be holes aligning see there's one two aligning good i'm going to put these small screws and tighten them and the size I have is, what is it, seven, size seven. We're just gonna put these bolts in. So it's kind of hard to get these small bolts in because, you know, they're falling in there. So I have this magnetic, like, uh, what do you call this, magnetic tool. And I just put the bolt on here. Live hawk. It's a kind of a live hack, hawk. All right, so I just align it. And that's it. Because it's kind of hard to get the big socket in there, you know. Okay, our chain spreader is secure. These bolts are tight. These bolts are also tight. And the next step they want us to do, install the idler pulley. So, which is this piece at the end, idler pulley. Uh, we have to grease inside the pulley, put the chain, chain cable, and everything else. So first step, we're done with this one. Let's move towards the front. This is where we're going to be installing the pulley. So get your pulley. This is the little pulley. Find this bolt right here. Washer. Get your... This is 15 millimeter. This works just great. And as in the picture, they want us to insert the washer, I mean the pulley, like this. And they want us to insert this bolt into here. Put the washer on the bottom and a nut. Now just tighten this bolt. Not too crazy, just tight enough. Is it going? Good. The wheel is freely spinning and in the manual they want to take a, uh, this tab and point it up just like this. You gotta put a screwdriver in there and bring this tab up just like so. And we're gonna guide our chain through this uh, opening right here. The tab is pointing up, the wheel is secured, the bolt is secured. Now we're just gonna grab our chain and we're gonna guide it through here. Oh, we don't have a cable, we have a chain. And its first step says right here, we have to connect the chain with this little like pieces right here. It came with the hardware. We have to connect it to this part right here. And then loop it around, all the way around and bring it through that pulley. So first step, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attach this, you see, pull the cable around the idler pulley and towards the trolley. Okay, I'm bringing this cable around. We're gonna bring it to this point right here. And we're gonna install that little link that's gonna hold us in place. See this hardware? We're gonna install this piece like in there, through this hole, and put a bracket on the top here that secures the chain into place. Put this bracket in place, put it through this hole right here, right? And that's not all, you have to take this piece also, put it on the top, and then find this piece. And we're gonna link it, like so. You need some kind of pliers or something. All right, so now you take this metal bracket and push it into place and we're done. The chain is secured on this part, but don't forget this uh, screwdriver has to stay in place because we're gonna do some adjustment. So this part is secured. That's how it looks. We're good. Let's go to the next step. Next step, we're gonna bring this cable around, around the, the little gear thing and we're gonna 
attach it to here. So bring your chain around, all around. And we're gonna secure this to this hole right here, but we have to get that other hardware. Okay guys, so we need to find this threaded shaft, these connecting pieces for the chain, and this has to be connected before we put it through this hole. So take your, I need to call this uh, master link right here, put it through like this, right? Put it through here, take this piece, just like we did on the other end. And now, I'm gonna take this little connecting link, we're gonna connect it there. This is good. And now, before we do anything, uh, we have to have uh, a bolt, like this bolt. All right. I'm gonna have it through there like this. And this uh, washer, see, like this. And we take another um, washer, put it like this, another bolt. Later, we're gonna adjust it. We're gonna tighten everything. But you see, the chain is installed. It has to be like this. The chain is installed. We're just gonna tighten everything. Because uh, this, once you uh, adjust this bolt, it puts tension on the, on the chain. Okay, so our chain is installed, this bolt is secure. You can adjust it later, but make sure this is straight. So take pliers before you, uh, and hold this like this. Tighten this bolt, then this bolt, make sure the chain is good. And a little bit of play in here. I think it's good. All right, next step, what we're gonna do, as per manual, it says we have to determine the header bracket location but since there was already installed hardware we're just gonna go there just like the old style we're gonna install the bracket in there so before anything what we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect this motor make sure this piece is loose we're gonna disconnect we're gonna take this motor out we're gonna unplug it now there's the and also this piece we're gonna unscrew so pretty much we're gonna dismount this before we install our new unit in there so we're gonna remove this bracket because everything's gonna be brand new with a new chain with a new everything we're gonna remove that we're gonna remove this motor and then unplug it of course i'm just gonna install our brand new unit so my friend is removing this stuff some of the stuff we can reuse this. Yeah. I just leave this part, leave this part. That's okay. Let's start, let's worry about the top one. So we're removing the old unit. Disassemble it, removing it. Setting on the side here. We can reuse the bulb. We can reuse this nice bulb because the, the new one doesn't come with a bulb. Next step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put new bracket in there and exactly right in the same spot. We're gonna remove the old bracket. No, one bolt. Yep, and one more. Awesome, see, much better when you use power tools, man. Right? Mm -hmm. Part we need to find this bracket called the header. With a little arrow pointing up we need to find these uh, bolts with these pins right here and as you see our rail with a little wheel it's gonna go through there and I'm just gonna put the pin and that's it so let's do that but before we do anything we have to put our garage motor on the letter or kind of like put them at the angle, make sure it's not on the floor before we install this part. So as you see, we installed this 
bracket, header bracket into our old spot right here. I put extra bolts, it's secure. Now we're gonna take this rail and mount it into this bracket. All right, my dear friends. So we put a, a level in the middle there. And also we're gonna reuse these brackets to hold the motor. We level it off and we determine at this height to be perfect. So I temporarily attach these bolts. And before I tighten anything, I just want to adjust everything. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I thought I had to cut this part, but no. In order to make it pretty, we can cut it down there, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, everything secured here. Everything at level, I can see the bubble is in the middle. Also, I can go higher. Yeah, all leveled. Good. And let's secure these bolts. We're gonna tighten our garage opener, garage motor. We're gonna make it tight. Everything looks great. At the right height, everything. Those brackets, they're long enough for our motor, so perfect. Good height. Uh, the next step, what we're gonna do, we're actually going to make sure this chain is tight. We're gonna tighten on the other side. I'm gonna look at the manual. But everything here looks good. We double check that these two bolts are tight also. There's one here, one here. Uh, the chain guiding uh, plastic piece right here, also secured. So we're all good here. We mounted it, I'm happy. I disconnected the old wires. We're gonna put everything new. Okay guys, I forgot to show you the other big thing. Make sure when open the garage, make sure it's not hitting your motor, which I know this one is perfectly positioned, but still, you know, you wanna double check, you know. We're good, but you wanna do that. And also, you see how I'm opening this door? It's not just falling straight down, but it's easily lifted. So the tension on the spring is pretty good. The garage opens up smoothly. You wanna also make sure your spring tension is good, which in our case is good. Uh, now we wanna install this pin into this bracket. So we're gonna mount the bracket here. That's gonna pull the garage door. We're gonna align everything here. So and for our next step, we have to attach the emergency release rope and handle. So like this, we tighten this. And then we're gonna just put it through the little hole right there. And I'm gonna release it. See? Well, we already installed the bulb. And also, once we do that, we're just gonna install this piece. Watch, I'll show you how we do that. And push this bracket towards the door and lock it in place. So first thing, Let's install this. So now we have to um, I put your rope through here. This is our emergency release for the door. We're gonna tighten it, make a nut. There you go. All right, so yeah, our emergency release is installed. Now this thing is moving, that's how it's supposed to be. But now we have to install that bracket right there and we're almost done. This bracket is installed. And now we have one more that's gonna go here and attach to our rail. So now we uh, take this bracket and we're gonna install it in there in a little hole right there, as you see here, hold it. Mm -hmm. Here you go, here's a pin right there and here's a ring. Yeah, it goes on the inside. Got it, and here's the pin for you. I mean the ring, just install it like that, like so. Good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna mount this thing with two bolts. Oh, just here. They could do it on the other side, like, like this. But I think, oh, hold on. Yeah. we're gonna adjust it like this. Okay. We're installing this bracket, tightening up to our lower bracket. Here, take the washer. This is the arm that's gonna lift it. Here, here's one more bolt. 
Make sure it's straight like that. You see, as in the manual it says, uh, it has to be straight door arm. So this arm has to be straight like this and this groove pointing out. We did it everything correctly, just like this, like so. And we tighten the bolts. It's gonna be true. It's good. All right, next step, we're gonna install the door control. The door controls, the wiring, and which is gonna go right here. I wanna remove these old ones. We're gonna install the new ones. So in this step, we're gonna attach this red cable. As you see, it says red and then the white one to this white. So we're gonna take a screwdriver, unscrew it, attach these cables in there. Very simple, just like this. Now we're gonna mount this to the wall. Button, and just... This one a little bit tighter. Good, solid. Step, I'm just gonna take this staple gun and guide this cable all the way up, all the way down to the motor, all the way down there. Back here, we have to plug in this one. It says red one, you see the stripe? It says red one, where is it? Into red, and then the white one into white. Because this port right here, it's for the sensor reversing. So red one is in here, which is this one, and the white one is in there. My dear friends, don't mess, don't worry about this mess. The cables from that button right there, I extended them, stapled them, went down, down, down here. The red one goes into the red connection on the left, and the white one pushes in in there. So this is good. Now, the wires from the sensors, there's two, go up, up, up from one side and two go up from the other side and they all come down here. This is from the right side and this is from the left side. So you see that this wire has like this uh, black line and this one has a black line. You put them together, tighten them together and put them in this hole, in this connector, push it in. And then the white one from that sensor, the white cable, and then the white cable from that sensor, they also come together, you twist them together, and they go into this hole right there. That's it, we're good. Uh, the next thing what you wanna do, let me show you this. So, our safety release was down, right? But now, we, we pulled it up, and this bracket, like it needs to move and lock into place. So, let's go back to our motor. You have to adjust your travel. How far do you want it to go up and down? Hold this button and push this flashing arrow. And then we're gonna stop, we're gonna release this once you satisfy with how far the door lifts. See, keeps going, 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 going. That's about right. I released this. Now we're gonna push this black button and adjust the travel going down. Hold it. You see how this door is closing? That's it. We release this and it's blinking. That's it, I think it's good. And now this motor is actually going through all your settings by itself. It's gonna lift the door to your adjusted setting It's lifting the door up and it's supposed to stop to the point where we like. Done. Now it's testing the uh, travel going down. So now it's, see it's really going down, down, down. And that's when the power is cut off so it doesn't go any farther. So we do it. We did good here. All I'm gonna do here, make it all pretty. I'm gonna staple the cable up there, you know, make it all pretty. 
and we're done with this wiring and those sensors are actually new so we left the new sensors and there was no point to you know guide the cables the new wiring we left it all we have to do i'm just going to adjust this uh chain but i'll show you in a minute let's first make it look nice friends i'm a person of a zip ties and duct tape so i zip tie these cables here and then these cables you know i use the staple gun and then we kind of guide it down along this frame for the bracket also it's away from the chain so it's not gonna get in there also everything's connected here good let's test the door now again let me show you so all we left to do here is to tighten the chain i'll show you right now so the door goes up the way we program it now let's push the button it's closing very nice and quiet All we have to do is just adjust this bolt to make the chain tight. So let's get to that and then we'll program it. You see here, this chain is kind of sagging. So we have to tighten it. I got to release this bolt here and then unscrew this and kind of push this bracket in there and then tighten this bolt. See here, remove this bolt, I unscrew this, right? Now we have to loosen this bolt now we have space to play. We're just gonna tighten this chain. And, and this chain is gonna be tight. We don't want this movement, you know what I mean? So release this like to this point. And now release this one and just like tighten it. My friend is holding the chain about this tight. And you see how much space we have? All this play. All right, so now we have to tighten this bolt so the chain doesn't go loose, you know. Lose more. Yeah, now I'm just going to do that. All right, so now when you satisfy with the tightness of the chain, there's not much play. Much better than what it was. I mean, it's still not supposed to be like rigid, but better than what it was before. Start tightening this bolt. But don't forget, use your pliers to hold this part so you don't want to twist the chain. And we're done. So I'm holding this part with my pliers because I don't want the chain to be loose. And the inner bolt, I'm just going to tighten it like this. Now, as you see here, this chain is not loose anymore like it was before. It's nice and tight. Very good. So we're done with our installation. Check all the bolts. These, I know for sure that these are tight. All this is tight there. Everything looks very, very good. Double check your work, guys. Make sure the bolts are secured. You know, just go over it. But uh, here, let's press the button. See? Perfect. Perfect. The chain is not sagging. Yeah. It looks great. And the door stops exactly where we want it. You see, we program it this way. The, the, all right, let's uh, close it now. And let's test these sensors. You see these sensors right here? Put my foot here. And the door is actually going up. Let's say if you have a child, you know. All right, you can close it now, close it. Nice and smooth. Make sure you have the safety pin installed. Make sure you have this rope here. And we also adjusted the travel. Yeah, very good. So we're done with installing this motor. All we're gonna do right now is program our uh, doors, you know, sensors and everything. All we have to do is program our opener, chamber lane. So in the manual on page 40, I found that this chamber lane uh, controller remote is already pre-programmed. You see, let's try it. Hit the button, it works. So this one does not require programming which is great, but if you do want to learn to programming, there's a button here on the top here, the yellow one. You have to press it and then program any other remotes. But you see us right here, program using the garage door opener 
learn button, locate the learn button, which is right there, yellow one, which we don't need to program right now. Press and immediately release and the learn, the learn button will grow, glow steady for 30 seconds. And within 30 seconds, you have to take your remote that you want to program and enter the four digit identification number. Like you have to press certain amount of time to program this remote. It's very, very simple, but we're not doing it right now. This one is pre-programmed. We're gonna program the, the pad, the keypad, that just, which is right there. So we're gonna program that. And it's also Chamberlain Universal. So guys and girls, this pretty much finishes our installation. Very easy, as you see, you can do it yourself, this installation with the right tools and the helper and a nice ladder like this. You can do this project yourself. I'm not gonna show you like how to do the programming. Everything is in the manual. I just wanted to show you how to do the hardware, how to put it all together. Uh, you can lubricate this with a uh, lithium grease. Just spray the chain and make sure it's all nice and lube. But uh, like I said, everything works perfectly. Actually, I programmed this phone. We have uh, like a sensor. So with my phone, I can close and open this garage door no matter where I am, because this is connected to the internet. So as you see, it's closing. Nice and quiet. This is what I like. Perfect. This door is perfectly is pushed against the, the wall. Nice, there's no gaps at all. So very easy installation. This is a very nice product. I highly recommend Chamberlain. I always use them. I actually install like a Chamberlain wireless hub. Let me show you this guys, come, come here. Um, you see on the wall here, this is a Chamberlain universal garage opener. And you can control your garage literally anywhere from the world, anywhere you are. You can have up to like three or four sensors on one thing. So we install this one. This also smart garage controller, as you see here from Chamberlain. Oh, very nice. So now you know how to install the garage motor and how to do all the setup. Thank you for watching this DIY video from Nazareros and I'll see you in the next video.